In this demo, I'm going to introduce some of the basic functionality of Tecla BIM Site. I'll show you how you can use Tecla BIM Site to carry out design coordination checks, such as looking for constructability issues and conflicts between different trades models. In this project, we have three models loaded, Architectural, Structural, and MEP. You can control the visibility of the whole models with the visibility symbol. First, let's look at some of the basic functionality. Navigation is simple. You can control it with the mouse. By clicking location and holding down the left mouse button, you can rotate around the model. Pan with the middle mouse button and zoom using the wheel. To look deeper into the models, you can use clip planes. Use the right mouse button to look around, like turning your head. You can delete clip planes individually or all at once with Clear All. Let's zoom back out by clicking Fit View. If you select one or more objects and click Fit View, these objects are then zoomed to the view. You can hide selected objects or hide everything else. You can save views as snapshots for future use. Let's clip the model to look at an interesting area, like this staircase, for example. Let's go back to the full view. Notice when we switch to the stair view again that Tecla BIM site has remembered the visibility and clipping. For more control over visibility at the object level, you can use the object pane on the right. Perhaps you just want to see the wall elements. You can do this by grouping the objects, selecting the groups you want visible, and hiding the others. Let's save this view for future use. It's possible to hide and show groups or even individual objects. Now a couple of practical uses of Tecla BIM site. Let's first switch on the structural model. Looking at this view, we can immediately see a problem. Well, several, actually. The clearance between the stairs and the beam looks a little small, so let's check that. Let's dimension the distance from the underside of the beam to the face of the stair tread. Just as I thought, quite a few sore heads using this staircase. Now we need to note this problem so we can get it resolved. You can save this view and the objects with this note and then continue working on the model. At a later stage, anyone with a copy of this project can find notes in the model and get the details using the object pane. Let's find the stair note. First, we'll group the objects by which model they belong to. If we open the structural model, we can sort by notes. We can then see objects associated with the notes. Opening the object shows the object attributes and the associated notes. We can open this note and restore the saved view. Let's add some information to this issue. As well as visual checks for design and constructability issues, we can run automated clash conflict checks. I've defined a rule to check the complete MEP against the structural model. Let's run the check, which will take a few seconds. But notice we can carry on working while it's running. OK, 150 clashes have been found, and we can see these flagged in the model when we turn on clash symbols.
Let's take a closer look at some of these clashes. Clash results are stored to the conflict pane here. Like the objects, you can group the conflicts. Let's group by rules, so in this case we get all the results in one group. We can select this group and turn off all other objects. Let's inspect the situation on the first floor. Set a clip plane. Then let's save this as our working view. Look at this run of pipe. There seems to be a series of clashes here. Let's flag them as pending so we can go and investigate them further. See how the flags have turned orange. If we go to the conflicts pane, we can group these conflicts and do some further investigation. Here are the four clashes we decided to look at. The problem is the pipe clashing with these green cross beams. We need to get this resolved as soon as possible, so we'll group the clashes and flag them as critical. We can set each individually, or the whole group here. We can select the clashing objects and hide others, and then add a comment about this pipe run. You can control the visibility of the conflict flags here, turning them all on or just displaying the selected states. Let's leave the critical flags on as a reminder of that serious problem. Finally, I want to show how to add models. You can add models at any stage. You can load one or more models at once. In this case, rebar detailing has been completed, so we can add that model. And maybe we want to start looking at possible crane locations. Models can be moved to correct locations as needed. Here the rebar model we just loaded. Before I finish, I'd just like to show some of the Help Center. The main support is through the question and answer forum. Here's a question from a user and a reply. There are extensive help documents and tutorial videos. Techlabim site has a home page where you can create and access projects, access support material, and get notifications of software updates. This is the project we've been looking at, and here's my latest forum activity. Okay, thank you. This is the conclusion of the demonstration. Obviously, there's a lot more to Tecla BIM site than I've been able to show in this quick demo.